This video is an overview of the app launcher component in Alpha Anywhere. Let's go and create a new app launcher. New web component app launcher. Read this information here. There's some really good stuff in here. We're going to get right into the properties. Uh, startup screen HTML. I'm just going to paste some stuff in here that I've got. I'm going to set a font size of 10, 10 for a heading. This is my app launcher. Different component. Uh, UX component will be loaded. Actually, it's just a different component because I'm going to load some different things. For an iPhone and iPad, in Windows is a default. Now, the instructions say you should always have a default condition available just in case a user launches this with something that you didn't expect. And you'll see that in a moment. Startup screen has a freeform layout, which I want. We'll get in here. There's nothing available in here, but Alpha always provides a default template. Uh, startup screen HTML style and the actual HTML placeholders are already in place. And that startup screen HTML is this. So that's what's going to be going in there. So I'm happy with that. Uh, the style name for the whole thing is going to be iOS. I'm going to do that. Now let's go in and pick some startup components. I'm not going to deal with the login form at this point. We'll do that in a moment. So our uh, startup components, let's get in here. Now this is a set of conditions that um, it's an if then else style. So we'll add a condition, we'll insert a field name, and the, these are all our devices that we can expect. So we're going to pick iPad. So we're saying if the client coming in is an iPad, and I want to launch a UX component and that component is going to be this one here with a style of iOS. I'm happy with that. Click OK. Let's add another condition. Now I'm going to come in this time if my client is an iPhone I do want to launch another UX component and that component is going to be this one here with an iOS style. I'm happy with that. And finally let's add one more. Now we could say if we're dealing with Windows but in this case I'm going to set um, a statement that will always be true in case the first two fail. So if I don't come in with an iPad and I don't come in with an iPhone then this statement will run and I'm going to select a grid component this time and I'm going to display this component in a GR gray style. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And that's all I'm going to do. So let's go and have a look. We'll do a live preview. So we're running under Windows so we should expect our Northwinds customer list to come up. That was our our launcher that you saw for a moment there. Then it figured out what to do. Launched our grid component. So I'm going to pause for a moment and I'm going to fire up an iPad and an iPhone. We'll go through all the other two components. So here we have a iPad being mirrored. And I'm going to go ahead and launch the um, application launcher but as a remote test this time. So let's go and do that. My iPad will disappear for a second. Now what I'm going to do is bring in my iPad now. I might have to do that again. There we go. So now I'm going to scan my QR code and my UX component is going to pop in, the one that I specified for an iPad. That looks great. So now I'm going to pause for a second and bring in the iPhone. Here we are back again. We've got our iPhone displayed and back into the app launcher. Remote test. Display another QR code. Move this over a little bit. There's our iPhone.
and our third component is loaded exactly what I expected it to be. And I think that's about it for that section. Now, if we want to display login form, let's go ahead and click that. Now, the only thing we need to look at now is the startup screen freeform layout. Because when we come in here now, because we've asked for a login form, you'll see that all this security information is now available to us. Now, of course, we don't want to have to go and do this ourselves. You can if you like. So I'm going to put in a new default template. And because our security information is in place now, we now get a new default template with all our security information in place. I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to go and launch this again. Live preview. Windows. Now my app launcher comes up, but it sticks because it's waiting for a username and a password and a login. Once I provide that, the same flow will take